In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your OBS with NVIDIA Broadcaster. So let's dive into it. The first thing I'm going to need you to do is head on over to the NVIDIA Broadcaster website and you're going to download it right over here. And when it's finished downloading, we're just going to click on the EXE to install it and just run through the settings. As you can see, NVIDIA Broadcaster is downloaded and installed and we're going to go ahead and open it up. And the first things you want to do is make sure that the correct microphone is set as well as going over to your camera and making sure that the input is selected correctly. Once NVIDIA Broadcaster is opened, what you're going to want to do is make sure that the correct microphone is selected as well as the correct camera input. So sometimes you might actually have OBS virtual camera or snap can camera that you might be using or you might just be connecting your camera directly to your PC. So make sure the correct one is selected. As you can see, I'm using the cam link, so I'm going to select that over here. In the next step, what we're going to want to do is find your camera. It might be your Logitech Brio, it might be a C920, it might be a web camera. For me, I use the Canon M50. What you're going to want to do is double click on it and what you're going to want to do is click on the device over here and select camera NVIDIA broadcaster. And as you can see, here I am, I'm back. Don't worry if your camera is frozen for a moment because it's gonna come back right there. We're gonna go ahead and click okay. So if I enable my preview again and I enable my camera, as you can see, I'm actually going from my camera to NVIDIA broadcaster into OBS. So whatever I change inside of NVIDIA Broadcaster will reflect inside of OBS. Also, what is important to note is if you are doing this while your OBS is open and your camera is activated, you're most likely going to need to restart your OBS and NVIDIA Broadcaster. So let's restart that quickly. What's important to note is that you're going to want to open your NVIDIA Broadcaster before you ever open up OBS when booting up your computer so that from there, it's then going to project into OBS. So as you can see here now, let me enable a blur from here. And as you can see, it's going to reflect inside of OBS. As you can see, just up on the top over there, I can increase it as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable that because I personally don't use the blur. What I like is the green screen where it removes the background. So now if you're not looking for the background blur, what you're going to do is click on here. So don't add the effect, rather replace the effect. It's not going to allow you to stack a blur with removing the background because that just, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So we're going to click on this drop down menu we're going to go ahead to background removal. So even if I was to come over here to my main screen and move this off, you're going to see it's actually pretty freaking amazing. Uh, it's pretty accurate as well to think that a chip on your graphics card is doing this without a green screen. That's insane. So now if you want to use the NVIDIA RTX broadcaster for noise cancellation and to improve your audio quality, what you got to do is click on your settings over here. You want to go to your audio input and you're going to select NVIDIA Broadcaster, which is just this one over here. And that is going to allow you. I personally, I don't use NVIDIA Broadcaster for my microphone because I've EQ'd it, I've tuned it, and I've added my filters, which I enjoy, and also removed the hardy dogs from South Africa outside. If this video helped you in any way, please leave a like and maybe a little comment down below. I would love to know if you're using NVIDIA Broadcaster, and I'll see you guys in the next video.